about an hour and a half late. <laughs> Let me turn the light on. Or, yeah. You can probably see me. <laughs> this blue sky in the background is not uh, just a clear moonlit night. We're running a little bit late. I am running late. Of course. My opening day of turkey season. My first hunt was cold. Got to break him in the right way. So last night, it was 12.30 and I was eating banana pudding on my chest. <laughs> watching UFC. And then I woke up at like, I don't even know what time is it. I woke up at 5.55. I was supposed to be cold at 4.45. So you were, sleep, you were sleeping in the chair or what? Yeah. I'm, I like I like Cole's little analogy though. He said you can't kill him on the limb. Uh, that's true. We're heading to Kentucky. I'm excited. I'm sure Cole's excited. It's his first, well, it ain't his first West Virginia hunt. We're heading to Kentucky, but we're going give it, to give it a good sporting chance. I think Josh is out with Brody again this morning. So in the West Virginia, and Jay's gonna hunt with Ian in West Virginia. Uh, me and Cole's going to Kentucky. Let's see what happens. season we're just gonna hunt our way around this big road here we got a couple i got a couple places in mind that i want to be at but it being daylight there's no sense in us just blowing through all this country so we're just gonna check it out and, and call and and listen as we go out through here and see if we can locate some birds and do something with them I don't know where he's at. You know where he's at? I think he's down in on. Uh, I'm just so excited. He's not. He's not. He's on this side. You think he is? He's on this side down there. Dude, I just got nervous. <laughs> I can feel it coming up through here. We've went around and around and around. And we have heard it. Absolutely no gobbles. It's perfect, pretty day. A good day to kill a turkey. We felt like anyway. Alright, yeah. We heard a turkey. We woke up going to try to kill it. Around that bend. Yeah, I think we'd be better off 
to go around. We'll work our way out that ridge and get on him that way. Because I think he's more than likely there's probably a bench or something down there that he's working around, but I would much rather stay above him. I don't want to go down this holler and then him be above us and we're screwed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go right over there, across this way, across the holler, and then we'll work our way out that ridge and see if we can get him to answer us. Let's try her again. Another gun. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's in a gar hole too. There's three trees standing on that mountain over there. He's in them. Good God. It might get interesting. Would you agree? You see that point right there? Got that little finger come off? Yeah. Would you agree that he's probably right there in line with that? Yep. Yeah. So we've been running and gunning, as we call it, uh, for the past probably hour and a half. We left them birds this morning. Go. Oh God, I'm and we gotta go. Edge. No. It's way too 
two sides. Because we're going to be loud and obnoxious going down this. He's on the face of this. He's on that main point, right? If he's from here to the main point on that face. But I say we work on around this bench right here, try to make our way around there and see if we can. Worst case scenario, we'll drop off 7,500 yards and slither around, but I don't want to do that if I don't have to. See that green patch of trees right there? Yeah. That, they're somewhere right in that neighborhood. Yeah. Our only option is to go, I think, don't you? to get in the mix of them. I'd say they're probably on this road if this wraps around there. Yeah, we're, let's do it. We're fixing to be right in the middle of them. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to be in the middle of something.
big barn. What a strand, see? I'll just turn the light off. Yeah, you'll kill back to that. and everywhere. My tear coat. Little sneaky rascal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's a whole pile of turkeys up through there, dude. They just came sneaking. <laughs> oh, they just sneak dicking. They was trying to sneak us, but old, old boy here, give them away back there, give them a little boom, <laughs> a little drum. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got foul. Oh. Oh, he's got, I mean, foul. Come on now, dude. Oops, it could send me another pair of gloves. <laughs> this one's fouled. Oh, baby. Yes! That's freaking sick. Our sweet. opening day in Kentucky. <laughs> yes, sir. We was late. I mean, there's, a, there's at least one down there's in one. there. I don't even think any of these are the same one that was gobbling back to us. No. That other one was No, he's deep down in there. Yeah. 1234. 1234. We struck him literally at 1132, I think. Yeah. He went. I ain't kidding. 
mean, Jesus. <laughs> Crazy thing. <laughs> well, I was, man, I was scanning hard when you said you heard that drumming. Yeah. Because, I mean, you said it confidently. It wasn't like, hey, did you hear something? No, you said, like, hey, I hear drumming. Yeah. So I'm scanning hard, scanning hard, like looking. I was thinking maybe they was coming up and then yeah. come, come pop up right here. So I'm scanning, scanning, and I look, and I'm like, <laughs> coming down. I'm like, oh, God, it's a Jake. It's another Jake. Uh-oh, big long beard right behind me. <laughs> Could you have shot him like as soon as he came around the corner? If I'd have been on my gun, yes. Okay. But I, did, I wasn't on my gun, I was here. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't pick us off sooner than yeah. that. I was here and I didn't want, like just for a split second I could have shot him when you said I'm on him. Mm -hmm. But then I would have had to went. Yeah. And I didn't want to do that. If I would have seen him like spooking or something, I probably would have. Freaking tore up, dude. <laughs> I'm glad you picked that drumming out. <laughs> I'm sure I was, they were just right here drumming, and that's what I was hearing. When that, when he gobbled, when I was, I was standing right there in that mud hole, and when he gobbled, he was right, he was right there. I mean, probably in that little sun ball right there. I guarantee you, go out there and it's probably all tore up. And that's that's when I was like, <laughs> let's go back. I don't believe there's nothing like it. No. <laughs> I swear I don't. I mean, we, here we, you know, grinded it, and like I said earlier, it's a freaking roller coaster. It's just like. I would say that I'd say the big thing that I learned is just in this terrain, like if they can't hear you, like you might think they can hear you, but you just have to keep moving until they can actually well, hear you. Because even mean, on the bird we struck earlier, he couldn't hear us when we were first uh -uh. calling into that holler, but then we got on the point, wrapped around, and then he could hear us. And he this is a prime there. example right here. I mean, I'm sure you all can see the ridge behind us. We was on that ridge and not a peep. Yeah. I hooted and called not a peep. We were right above them. Yeah. Yeah, we were just right in ahead of that drain right there to the right. Did you kill one? No, Bobby. No, we walked, we walked about 6.4 miles. And a we, bunch of hens. Yeah, and a bunch of hens all around us. We set up, we started calling, and the one closest to us, wouldn't, he wouldn't answer us. Uh, and the one way down in the holler kept answering, kept answering, kept answering. And, and then all at once, Cole was like, hey, I hear drumming. I said, all right, where? And he said, right down your gun barrel. I said, okay. And all of a sudden I look, and here comes a, a Jake, like almost running around the road. And here comes another Jake. I'm like, I said, Cole, they're Jakes. I said, oh God, there's a long beard, long beard behind them. <laughs> right at, right at the, the climax of the story. He's probably like, he, Oh, he's like, he's listening. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> All right, so we are in an absolute gar hole. We dove off the mountain. Now we gotta go back up. What we're gonna do is just stash everything down here, get the bird in the shade, put a gun, everything down here, and we're gonna hoof it back out of here, uh, get back to the side by side, because I know I can get to this road that we're on. So it's gonna take us a little bit of time, but I think it's gonna be a heck, heck of a lot easier than dragging all this stuff back up out of here because it's terrible up through there. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for mine and Cole's first day in Kentucky. Uh, it's the, actually the second day. We missed opening day. I had a birthday party, but we had a hell of a hunt. I think uh, Josh and Jay both had good hunts with Brody and Ian. Uh, they didn't capitalize on stuff, but but had good days out in the turkey woods. So it is what it is. We're gonna get back after it. West Virginia season opens tomorrow. We're all gonna be on the grind for it, hopefully knock some birds down. We're gonna be cranking out a bunch of videos here the next couple of weeks, pretty daggone consistently. Uh, that's what we're hoping for anyway. We're hoping we're cranking out a bunch of kills. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you like uh, Cole's hat, theuntamedhunt.com, go check it out, get some merch. We got all kinds of good stuff on there. I got some turkey hats, all kinds of good stuff, so.